Hello, I'm Justin Wyman, a systems engineer here at McNaughton McKay Electric Company. Today we're going to talk about how to log a Factory Talk View SE data log to a SQL database. First, right click on the data log model under data log in the tree to the left and select new to add a data log. Now select ODBC database next to storage format. Now select the ellipses next to ODBC data source. Select the system data source tab and select New. Select System Data Source, applies to this machine only, and select Next. Now we want to scroll through the list of available data sources and select the appropriate one. Select Finish. Now we want to name the data source. Next we want to select which SQL Server do you want to connect to. Now we want to select Next, select Next. Now we want to check the box for Change the Default Database to a database that I created called Macamac Database. And select Next, and select Finish. Now that we've created our data source, we want to test it by selecting Test Data Source. Since it tested completely successful, we want to select OK, OK. And now we want to select the data source and select OK. As you can see, it pre-populated the data source next to ODBC data source. And now we want to create tables in our SQL database. But before we do that, let's change the default table name to tag name, tag value, and string value. And now that we've changed the names, we can select the Create Tables button to automatically create our tables in our SQL database. Select OK. Now we want to select the Log Triggers tab. And as you can see, you can log via periodic, on change, or on demand. We're going to keep it at the default periodic and log every 10 seconds. Now we'll select the Tags and Model tab, select the ellipses next to Tags to Add. Now we want to refresh all folders in our tag database. Now we want to drill down into our tags and select the tags that we want for our SC data log. The first tags we'll select are the data log underscore one and data log underscore two, and then select Add Tags to List. As you can see, both tags were added to the list. Now we want to select two more string tags called recipe1 underscore name and recipe2 underscore name. Now you can see that we've added all four tags to our data log. We can select OK and Add. As you can see, all four tags were added to our data log and we can select OK and then name the data log. Select OK. So now that we've created our new data log in View SE, we want to right click on the data log and select Start. Now that the data log has been started, we can go into our SSMS or SQL Server Management Studio and verify that our SE data log is logging to our SQL Server. To do that, we open our data logs. Go to our Mac and Mac database that we created and look into our tables to see the three tables that we created automatically called string values, tag names, and tag values. First we'll look at our tag names. And as you can see, all four tags that we added to our data log are indeed being logged to our SQL database. Next we can look at our tag values. And we can see that every 10 seconds, a value of 100 and 200 are being logged to our SQL database. If we change the values to 24 and 48, and then save the tag updates,
we can see that if we update our SSMS table, we'll see that every 10 seconds, we're getting a new value of 24 and 48. Lastly, we'll look at our string values. And you can see that our string tags are being logged to our SQL database of peanut butter cookies and chocolate chip cookies for our recipe values. For additional information or for more videos like this, please visit our website or give us a call.